don't do it for my work. I was uh, asked to come to the police station because the police wanted to take statement from me with regards to two police reports lodged by police officers. So I requested my lawyer here, Mr. Nizam, to assist me and uh, I met the police officer, one uh, Mr. ASP Noor Azizi. Based on the two police reports, it is uh, with regards to the charama that I have given in the last two, three days in uh, Penanti. And when I read the police reports, it shows that uh, I think they are more interested in trying to frighten us, to keep us, uh, to shut us out. And I, I believe this is an attempt by the Najib's government to make it look like uh, to scare us and also uh, he's setting a precedence in this country whereby never before, never before any prime minister has gone to this level of this thing. So what, it, what they have done is they are making use of the police again. The police being made use of by the prime minister's department to quieten us. They don't want us to talk about Al Tantuya, they don't want us to talk about Najib, they don't want us to talk about Rosma, they don't want us to talk about many things. And I don't think that we should keep quiet. I think we will continue harping on the truth. We will talk the truth and uh, we from Patikadilan Rayat, Pakatan Rayat, it is our mission to let all Malaysians and the world know the truth. Because, uh, I declined to answer many questions based on my right under Section, section 1122 because whatever I say could be implicated. So if I'm, uh, what, whatever I say that I could, so I declined to answer all those things. If they want, they can take one next step of action. What question do you have to They asked me whether I spoke about Altan Tuya, whether I spoke about Najib making Altan Tuya pregnant, whether I spoke about Siva Kumar being carried away. They asked me whether uh, I spoke about uh, Najib and Rosma being implicated in the murder of Altan Tuya. I think Altan Tuya seems to be haunting, haunting Najib and the Barista National Government. Specific to my charama, in the, they mentioned about three charama. 27th and 29th. 27th and 29th. 29th, last night I was in Padang Ibu. 27? 27th, I was uh, yeah, in Penanti. I go around speaking every night, you know. <laughs> we speak in many places. No, but uh, don't worry. You see, what we are doing, we are doing justice to the people. We want the truth to come out. If Najib is really implicated in the murder of Al Tantuya, Najib, it has been written in some international papers that Najib and Rosma have been implicated. Najib should take action to sue the papers. Najib should go beyond that, not come back and hound the members of parliament in Malaysia who want to speak the truth. What is the name of the police officer's uh, The police officer one is uh, Inspector Sohaimi and another uh, Inspector Pang, Inspector Pang something. These two officers, they lost. I, but you know, we can't blame these officers. I think they are just being subservient to the political master. The person who we should blame in this is Najib, because he is behind all these things. And I say it again. I say that it is not the Sultan of Perak or anybody. It is Najib who should be blamed for the fracas and all the problem in Perak as the president of AMNO and also the past chairman of uh, AMNO Perak, it is Najib. I say it again, it is Najib. If he wants, he can sue me. Yes, sir, uh, they can what take whatever say? legal action they want to take, they can take. Okay, they can uh, drag me to court. But what I will do, I will ask my lawyers to write to them and ask for copies of the report. And we will also sue the police officers for making those police reports. It's uh, intimidating. They're trying to intimidate me to stop me from speaking the truth. And I don't think we should allow that. Is it gonna be, uh, I will have to discuss this with my party leaders. 
and that was anwa has been very good and uh, he has been he called me and uh, told me to be patient and all this these are all uh, tests from uh, uh, the great uh, najib najib wants to test us further why when, not when he should test himself he should appear in uh, mongolia and go and tell the people in of mongolia that he is not implicated in the murder of altan tuya not calling us and dragging us to the police stations i'm not saying najib murdered the uh, altan tuya but there's a lot of accusation there's a lot of talk and the country i'm very shameful that i'm a malaysian parliamentarian because the prime minister of malaysia is implicated the wife of the prime minister is implicated they are thinking that they can shut us out by dragging us to the police station no it is only going to make us stronger to continue talking the truth this thing